This video is intended to give you a general understanding of how to perform certain adjustments or replacement procedures related to the steering system. This video, like the service manuals, is intended to be used as a reference by mechanics who have been trained to repair and service steering systems used on commercial vehicles. Prior to making a repair, refer to the appropriate service manual for additional information. Service-related information may be found on our website at www.trucksteering.com. Take all the necessary precautions to ensure both your safety and the safety of others around you. If you are not sure how to perform a procedure, consult your authorized TRW technical representative. While performing this procedure, never strike the tie rod ends, pitman arm, or any other steering system component with a hammer or other such tools. Internal damage to the steering components may result. Do not use a power grease gun because it will supply grease too quickly. This could adversely affect the high pressure seal and contaminate the hydraulic fluid. Sector Shaft Lash Start the engine and rotate the steering wheel until the wheels are straight ahead and the timing mark on the sector shaft lines up with the mark on the housing. The sector shaft is now centered and prepared for adjustment. Turn the ignition off. Remove the cotter pin and loosen the castle nut on the ball stud. Remove the drag link from the pitman arm. Now. Grasp the pitman arm and gently try to rotate it back and forth. If looseness or lash is felt at this point, the sector shaft requires adjustment. Lash Adjustment Procedure Hold the adjusting screw in place and loosen the jam nut. Slowly turn the adjusting screw clockwise until you feel no lash. To recheck for lash or looseness, grasp the pitman arm and gently try to rotate it back and forth using only slight pressure, about 10 foot-pounds of torque. If no looseness or lash is felt, the sector shaft is appropriately adjusted. As a final step, hold the adjusting screw in place and tighten the jam nut. Final torque should be 43 foot-pounds. Turn the steering wheel one quarter turn to each side of center, then back to center. Recheck the pitman arm for lash. If you still feel lash, repeat the procedure. Assembly. Reconnect the drag link to the pitman arm. Torque the nut to the approved OEM specifications and reinsert the cotter pin. Grease the sector shaft bearing on the gear using a hand grease gun until old grease purges past the dirt and water seal. Inspection. If after performing this procedure, there is still lash in the steering system, you need to check all of the following. Start with the steering wheel to column connection. Check for lash in the upper column. Also, check all of the following. U-joints and slip joints. Drag link connections and sockets. Kingpin to axle connections. Tie rod connections and sockets. The steering spindle. Spring to spring pin connectors. Front axle U-bolts. And finally, spring hanger brackets and rear shackles. Also, check the lug nuts and wheel bearings. 